Hey guys, welcome back to the Joe Jaguar Show, your best friend, science, astronomy, and telescopes. Okay guys, so today I have two telescopes out here. We're going to be looking at two objects. One is the Veil Nebula in the Northern Cross, and the second one is going to be the North American Nebula. Now over there I have the 12-inch Dobson. Last time I was here, I did take a look at the North American Nebula, but with a 12 inch telescope and it has 1500 millimeter focal length, I could see the uh, North American Nebula, but because it's so close with 1500 millimeter focal length, I couldn't see the whole thing in one shot. I could see partial where the, uh, you know, the, the curved part where the uh, Gulf of Mexico is, uh, but I would have to pan to see the whole thing. So sometimes when you have too much power, somebody else not as, not as experienced wouldn't be able to tell that's the North American Nebula. So normally for these two objects, the Veil Nebula, North American Nebula, you need a low, low power. And even with a 56 millimeter and a nebula filter, it's too much power on a uh, 1500 millimeter telescope. So we have here the Celestron, but it could be any brand, I guess. It's a 102 millimeter, so it's a four inch F5 millimeter focal length. So which means it's a 500 millimeter focal length. So that means we should be able to see both objects with enough space around it where you can tell. Over here, we have the Skywatcher Heritage a Telescope. And this one has 750 millimeter focal length. We are going to be using a 38 millimeter inch and a quarter eyepiece so we get low power. And in this one, we have a 32 millimeter inch and a quarter power. And we're going to see which one gives a better view, right? A six inch will collect more light, but this does have more power because the focal length is bigger at 750, where this one's 500. So, what will frame it better? A four inch F5 refractor? or a six inch F5 reflecting telescope. So this is what I wanna see. I hope you guys want to know this information too. So let's look again at the Veil Nebula. We'll try without the Nebula filter and then with the Nebula filters on both items and let's see what happens. Okay guys, so let me turn off the flash and then I have one light and I'll kind of explain what I see. I think I'm gonna drop this guy a little bit lower cause it's a little bit, little bit too high. Okay, that's a oh, perfect height. Okay, guys, let's get to it. Big flashlight is getting low in power, so I brought the other two lights. Hopefully, they don't get in my, you know, you could see me much better, but if it's going to affect my night vision, I might have to turn it off and, uh, and then let my eyes adapt because the veil is pretty dim and so is the um, North American Nebula, so I might have to turn off the lights, I guess. But let's see what happens. If I can see it, okay. If not, I'll turn it off the lights and then I'll come back in like 10 minutes after I observe it. Okay, we are going to use the refractor first. Now it's gonna be really high in the sky. Yeah, I think it's too bright. I don't know if I'm gonna, let me get a chair. Okay, so I have a stool here that I can sit. This is the highest the tripod can go. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to turn off the lights, guys, and then I will explain what I see. Today is not really a great day, as far as the seeing is concerned. It's very, very hazy. Um, it is clear, but I think there's a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. The seeing is not great. Um, I could see them in both, so the 38 millimeter, Without a nebula filter, it's very, very dim, and I thought I could see it. It's only when I put the nebula filter, the narrow band, can I see like, okay, that's clearly it. Same in here. Until I put the uh, narrow band filter, then I, it pops into view. Now, it's not extremely bright, and that's why I think, you know, it's not the best of nights. I kind of give it kind of a tie, a 38 millimeter with a narrow band filter on here, very similar to a 32 millimeter 
on the refractor 102 f5 6 inch f5 they look very similar on this one because it has 750 millimeter focal length it is a bit larger in the eyepiece so it's a little bit bigger i don't think it's any better they're about a tie i would say um again maybe if it's a perfect night i would have expected this guy to do a little bit better because it's a six inch telescope so it collects more light than the four inch but this one because it's a little bit smaller because it's a little bit more compact it makes it a little bit brighter so i'm gonna say it's about a tie in these guys but i do find it when i added the 30 millimeter uh, my two inch eyepiece because with this refractor i can put a two inch diagonal a two inch eyepiece with an 82 degree field of view and a narrow band filter then it was i think the best view of these two on this object on this particular night now unfortunately nights can change uh, but on this particular night i would say it's about a tie in both of them but with the two inch eyepiece in this one i do get a better view now unfortunately i can't put a two inch eyepiece in the heritage because it only allows for inch and a quarter so i don't know if i were to put a two inch in here uh, there are six inch telescopes that do have a two inch focus it might be maybe then a tie again but i do like the view with a two inch with a narrow band filter so let's go try i hope it's a good view or a good night for the North American Nebula. So let's go take a look at that. Um, you know what I'm also thinking is maybe we can throw in, uh, looking at the, because the Andromeda Galaxy is kind of getting a bit higher. So maybe we can see that as well, okay? But for now, uh, let's try the North American Nebula. I'm gonna turn off these lights again. Otherwise I won't be dark adapted and because today is a very hazy dewy night i think that's affecting the seeing so i need as much help as possible to see more we'll be back in situation uh, as the first one so the north american nebula is is huge it's over five and a half degrees big and the problem is almost every telescope can't go that low of power a lot of times you know we always talk about zooming in or more power but there are a lot of things that you need less power especially for these two items so i use a 32 millimeter inch and a quarter in both telescopes the six inch f5 narrow band filter and the four inch f5 narrow band filter now with the reflecting telescope or the heritage a little bit too close it fills up the whole frame you can see that the nebula is there you can see the Mexico um, Peninsula but it's a little too close again a little bit smaller in the 4 inch f5 because the focal length is 500 versus 750 but still a little bit too close I think now when I pop a 2 inch eyepiece uh, you know 30 millimeter with an 82 degree field of view it is the best view that I have here uh, let's hold on there's a car coming Um, so that was the best view however i think it's still a little bit too close most people looking at it it's still gonna be a little too zoomed in and if you don't see enough sky if it's like right in your face you're not gonna be able to see the whole thing so i would probably recommend if you want to see either of these two go to like an 80 millimeter f5 because what's going to happen is the 400 millimeter focal length is going to make the item smaller and if it's smaller it's going to be more compressed and it's going to be a little bit brighter image with more background uh, stars or sky so that's going to be a better view that's not so bad in these two but uh, again um it's okay it, it but it's a little too close but new people they're not going to be able to tell the shape of the north american nebula because it's just too zoomed in however we can't go any more lower power i guess photographically a lot of people do take pictures uh, with like 50 millimeters to 200 millimeter focal length and that's probably also great but at 400 sorry at 500 and then 750 
It's just too much power. Let's take a look at the Andromeda Galaxy. Now, I did take a look at that with my brother on the 12-inch, but it was really kind of low in the sky. So we're going to try it again. Uh, now that it's another, I don't know, hour and a half later, it's a little bit higher. And I want to see what gives the better view on the Andromeda, the 6-inch or the 4-inch. So we're not going to be using a nebula filter, of course, on this item because it's a galaxy. There's no point using a filter on that. And uh, let's take a look. Again, I'm going to turn off the lights so we can, so I can get dark adapted and I can see a bit better, better and then we'll come back. On the Andromeda Galaxy, a 38 millimeter on this guy, I'll put what the power is. Um, and then a 38 millimeter on this guy, I'll put again what the power is. Um, it's a little bit better. Now, again, remember, today is not the most clear. It's clear. Well, it is clear, but it's a very hazy and very dewy. I don't think it's the best seeing condition, but I do think it is brighter in here, of course, because it's a bigger telescope. When I put a two inch eyepiece, it's just too low of a power. And I don't feel like, I feel it's too small. So in today's condition, on these two, the Andromeda does look better in this guy than this guy, regardless if it's an inch and a quarter or two inch eyepiece. And I guess that's it. So I would say it's virtually a tie when it comes to the Veil Nebula and the North American Nebula on these two. Although I don't think it's perfect. I think the both of those objects would be better and something that has less power. Instead of a 6 inch f5, 750 millimeter, maybe like an f4 to give it a lower power, a smaller image might be better. Um, and this guy, I think, would be better in like the 80 millimeter f4. Even though the 80 millimeter is a little bit smaller, the focal length is 100 millimeters less. It's going to produce a smaller image, it's going to be a bit brighter. It's going to frame it a bit more with more space would be better. So I think those two things, the North American and Veil, need less power than these two can produce. Now on the Andromeda Galaxy, again, it's not the best night. I, I feel like it's better, a, li a little bit better in this one than that one. Now maybe in the future we can do this test again when it's a perfect seeing night instead of a very hazy night, but it is what it is today. So that's today's video, guys, uh, those three objects. And uh, that's it for me for today. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. And if you know anybody getting in the hobby, please share my link. I do have members video where once a month I post a video just for the members. It's 99 cents. Why don't you join? Why not you? Why not me?